In this video, we explore the adits of the Silver King Mining Company on Henline Creek. The town of Elkhorn is the starting point for this adventure. Elkhorn was the main nearby town for Silver King mining operations. Henline Creek flows through the Opal Creek Wilderness. The mountain above is Henline Mountain. For this mine exploration, we started at Henline Falls Trailhead and went up the Ogle Mountain Trail. The first part is an easy hike to Henline Falls and the Silver King Mine at it. We arrived at the giant waterfall in search of a mine opening. The foundation was for the mine's power source. This would hold a wheel that spun to convert flowing water into power. The waterfall you see today is not completely natural. Miners made dams and adjusted the flow of the falls to help with mining operations. This old drawing from a mining report shows the Silver King mine and minecart track in action. Right at the base of the falls is the main Silver King mine at it. While the gate is only about 100 feet in, this mining diagram shows that it goes roughly 1,700 feet further. The gate is there to protect people from all the dangers of gold mines. It is also there to protect the bat population. On the walls of the mine, there were tons of spiders and crickets.
Endline Falls is a nice destination with an easy hike in. Afterwards, we continued up the Ogle Mountain Trail to look for more mine adits. The trail went up some very steep switchbacks and got less established the further we went. Following map and GPS, we left the trail in search of the other mine adits. The path was a bit dangerous, being steep, wet, and slippery. We arrived back on Henline Creek, where there are supposed to be two mine adits called Queen of the West. These were much harder to find than the Silver King mine. The first mine at it we saw was the East Prospect Tunnel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's wet. I don't think I'm going through. Best water to drink. Being near the end of winter, this mine was completely flooded. So. Cool. We did not have the equipment to go any further inside. This diagram shows the two Queen of the West adits sitting right across the creek from each other. After seeing the first adit, we looked across Henline Creek and find the other one. Oh, 
On the other side of the creek was the West Mine at it. This mine was flooded just like the east at it. There is no trace of a road to these small mine adits. They were probably only used for assaying and never developed. Assaying is the process to determine how much valuable metals such as gold are present in an area. Looking in the distance, you can spot some of the hidden waterfalls up Henline Creek. These falls are Jackie and Steve Falls. An explorer named all of the falls after his family members. We headed back towards the trail after seeing what we could with the flooded Queen of the West Mines. We continued to follow the Ogle Mountain Trail for a bit longer. Eventually, the trail faded away and it didn't look like we were going to find any more gold mines. Having seen three mine adits, I would say this was a successful day of exploration. This place may be worth revisiting to see the upper mines after they have dried out. I hope you enjoyed this mining exploration of the Opal Creek area. This wilderness has a lot of wild land and I hope to explore more of it on video later. <laughs>